Jimmy Garoppolo's career is so perplexing to me because when he is first upon the scene in San Francisco, they go 5-0 and at the end of that season when they trade for him. It seems like Garoppolo's only going to get better. Of course, last year they get to a Super Bowl. But there's been question marks ever since that 5-0 and splash upon the scene. And now, this year, out again with an injury, and maybe the Niners turn to somebody else in the offseason. How do you explain how good Garoppolo can look sometimes and did early and how it has kind of crashed back down to earth for him recently? Yeah, I mean, it just goes back to show how hard it is to be consistently good week in and week out. And that's why I have so much respect for Tom Brady, Drew Brees, Ben Roethlisberger, these guys that have been doing it year over year for over a decade, two decades. Uh, you know, and then when you look at these younger quarterbacks like Jimmy G, he could do it very well at times. You know, he does have that it factor. He's a guy that you would love in the huddle, in the locker room. But every game, there's always that boneheaded mistake or the turnover-worthy play that comes up. And it's like, how do you eliminate that? You know, and, and how do you take that out of your game? But I think the key factor now, though, is availability. A lot of times, it doesn't come down to, oh, this guy's better than that guy. It comes down to, this guy never misses a game. He never misses practice. Look at Eli Manning for all those years. I mean, there is something very important about being consistent, being that guy, being able to, you know, show up at practice every day healthy, you know, ready to, ready to prepare and win. And I think with Jimmy G, these injuries are setbacks, man, he, he, because he's losing a lot of time on the field. And especially when you're not lighting up the scoreboard, now it's kind of hard to keep talking yourself into – Jimmy G is the guy. Now, I think Nick Mellon's in another, you know, another light. He he played well last week. You know, he's a guy, a backup. Backups, you know, playing the backup position is tough because you're thrown in there. You're expected to play just as good, if not better, than the starter with very minimal reps. I want to see how Nick Mellon's could do now with multiple weeks under his belt, preparing, being that guy in the huddle, every single rep during practice. Hey, he could play pretty well. I'm not saying he's going to overtake Jimmy G's job. But, you know, look, there, there's got to be some consistency, consistency at that position, and we'll see what Nick Mullins can do with it.